welcome back guys so this is basically the last question of our series uh, in which we were talking about the similar questions so this is question 4.19 and the statement of it is a large industrial firm purchases several new word processors at the end of each year the exact number depending on the frequency of repairs in the previous year suppose that the number of word processors x purchased each year has the following probability distribution which has been written in the form here okay for all the values of x the f of x has been given if the cost of the desired model is 1200 per unit and at the end of the year a refund of 50 x square dollars will be issued how much can this firm expect to spend on new word processor during this year okay so again we can see here that uh, this is basically the random variable x and it has been transformed into the variable after getting the per unit value and a refund amount okay so let me solve it here and in solving it previously we have seen that the expected amount here would be what here we have to see the expected amount of g of x where it will be g of x f of x okay and these has to be added together okay but what will be the g of x here we have to find it out the value of g of x what it should be so we have to deduce it from here okay we can see that each of the model here cost twelve hundred dollars per unit and uh, also the amount of refund here is 50x square okay so this amount 1200 uh, dollar per unit is basically the multiplicative factor so therefore we will have 1200 and the variable here would be x okay similarly this 50x square has to be subtracted from the original amount because this is the refund amount so therefore it will be 50 x square okay so this is what this is the value of the g of x which we wanted to find out okay so after finding it out we have to put it here and then we have to find the e of g of x okay but what will be the different values of g of x it will depend upon the value of x okay so x1 x2 x3 and x4 okay so let me first find out these values so when x is equal to 0 the value of g of x will be what it will be putting the value of x equal to zero here so it will be 1200 0 minus 50 0 square so here we will get 0 as well okay so when x equal to 1 the value of g of 1 will be what here i can write 0 as well g of 1 will be what it will be 1200 multiplied by 1 minus 50 multiplied by one square okay this is because of this formula so what i will get 1200 minus 50 so it will be 1150 okay when x is equal to 2 at this value so it will be g of 2 okay and it would become 1200 multiplied by 2 minus 50 and 2 square okay so it will be 2400 minus 200 so uh, it will be 2200 okay so this is for x equal to 2 uh, let me move to s x equal to 3 because this is the last value here so when x is equal to 3 g of 3 would be equal to what it will be 1200 multiplied by 3 minus 50 into 3 square okay so it will be 3600 and here it would be 339 and 9 minus 450 so ultimately we will get here 3150 okay so these are all the amounts for these values so let me tabulate it here again and it will become what this will be the table here okay and these would be the values of uh, let me write them with this blue color so it will be x f of x and the corresponding g of x okay let me write their values with this color so it will be 0 1 2 3 it will be 1 by 10 3 by 10 2 by 5 and 
1 by 5 okay and also the values of g of x for 0 it will be 0 uh, for x equal to 1 it was 1150 for 2 it was 2200 and for 3 it was 31 50 okay so these are all the values now in order to employ the formula which is here okay this is the formula which we wanted okay what do we have to do we have to multiply the values which we have here so let me move down somehow and here we can see that we have to multiply this value with this this with this okay this one with this one and this with this one and we will get the output then okay so we have to find the expected value of g of x which is basically the expected value of what 1200 x minus 50 x square okay and here we have to employ these uh values of g of x and f of x so the value of g of x is 0 multiplied by uh, the value of f of x which is 1 by 10 plus the value of g of x is 1150 multiplied by 3 by 10 okay plus uh, 2200 sorry 2200 multiplied by 2 by 5 and the last value is 3150 multiplied by 1 by 5 okay so uh, here we have to multiply them and add them together and ultimately the answer of it will be 1855 dollars okay so this is what this is the solution of our question which we were doing okay so that is basically the answer of question 4.19 and we here we have again seen the implication of this formula that how can we apply this formula for any transformed random variable which has been transformed from x to g of x okay and this is the value of g of x and uh, ultimately we have also found out the expected value of g of x as well okay so that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box so see you soon